Hi everyone, this is Expert Channel. Recently I picked up a couple games and a console from a local thrift store. I'm sure by the video title you've already figured out that this video will be focusing on the video game console that brought community together through my teenage years. The Xbox 360 console, and in this video specifically, Halo 3. The Xbox 360 console was originally released in North America on November 22, 2005. Just over a year after Microsoft Bungie's beloved Halo 2 hit shelves, just in time for Christmas, November 9, 2004. This was the successor to Halo Combat Evolved. I grew up very much a Nintendo fan. Smash Bros was life. I was first introduced to online gameplay on a console that I played at my cousin's house, and it was the PS2. He owned the PS2, PlayStation 2, and the SOCOM series. I thought it was cool, but at the year of 2006 to 2007, the Nintendo Wii was out. And in 2008, Smash Bros. Was Brawl was all I played. Then toward the end of 2008, my grade 8 year, I was introduced to Halo and Halo 2 by a friend who had picked up a crystal original Xbox at our local EB Games. I really liked these Halo games. I ended up picking up a second-hand original Xbox for myself. I ended up changing schools three months before the end of my grade 8 year. Moving to a new school, it's good to find friends and fit in. Then came the Xbox 360, and soon after, Halo 3. Microsoft Xbox 360 was the first online console myself and my brother had ever owned. All anyone was talking about was Halo 3. Come September 2009, my grade 9 year, Smash Bros. Brawl was now beginning to fade away to make room for the new and improved Xbox 360. It was great because it seemed everyone owned a 360. The only problem is that I still hadn't obtained a copy of Halo 3. I also bought a Xbox 360 console and just after investing this, I didn't have any money for Halo 3. So I played Halo 2 for some time until I could afford Halo 3. In fact, I remember my cousin, who had been in the Xbox 360 scene for a couple years now before I obtained mine. He put together a lobby one day of just people who were going to play Halo 2 so that I could also get some enjoyment out of my Xbox. Then the day came, Halo 3, Xbox Live Gold, I was all set, and man, was Halo 3 a masterpiece. From its campaign, to its music, to Forge and online gameplay, Halo 3 was the real deal. As soon as I got home, my friends were online. We would game until supper, and then game some more. My younger brother was all often a part of this. It wasn't Smash Bros, but it was a whole new experience in its own right. The graphics were impressive. This footage that you're watching right now was recorded in December 2018, and I have to say for a game that, that was made almost 11 plus years ago, it still holds up. I remember playing online and the campaign with my younger brother. I remember my parents sometimes would have to schedule us times if we wanted to play solo online and have the full screen to ourselves. I remember my first exam week in grade 9, I played Halo most of the time instead of studying. I remember going to a Christmas party in high school with my friends in grade 9 and we had a Halo 3 LAN set up. Good times. All this being said, I'm glad to revisit Halo 3, 
for what it was and what it still is. Forge mode and the Halo community was really something special. Now with the Xbox One backward compatibility, I hope more users will revisit the good old days of Halo. The footage captured today is from a Social Slayer game played on December 10th, 2018. I picked up the copy of Halo 3 that you see in this game for $3.99 at a thrift store. I hope you enjoyed my insight on Halo 3. Stay tuned for my next video with a revisit to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Thanks for watching.